move on to our TCT Women in 3D Printing Innovator Award. Yes. Now it's the third year the award shines a spotlight on the female innovators who are leading the charge in the world of 3D printing and additive manufacturing. The TCT and women in 3D printing communities put forward more nominations than ever before to produce a shortlist of five finalists who have shown passion, expertise and innovation in their work within the industry. And the winner from this incredible lineup has been determined by a public vote, which this year has seen a record number of votes. To announce the winner of the TCT Women in 3D Printing Innovator Award 2023, please welcome to the stage Elena Lopez, Regional Director for Women in 3D Printing, EMEA, to say a few words. <laughs> Thank you, Yoni, for this kind introduction. I'm so pleased to be here to present this award today. As a bit of a background, Women in 3D Printed started in around the year 2014 from our founder's desire to share the stories of women shaping the additive manufacturing space. And women are less represented in manufacturing and technical fields, no matter the role, from marketing to engineering, entry level to executive. Uh, manufacturing, manufacturing historically has attracted fewer women for a myriad of reasons, and while numbers have been rising over the last years, it remains um, a male-dominated field still. So women in 3D printed centers around the idea that we should embrace our diverse backgrounds because that are, uh, they are what makes the industry so rich and interesting, and I firmly believe myself that diversity can be one of the biggest driven forces behind true innovation and makes any technical development better due to enhance creativity and reinforce cooperation. This community has become a global movement. It is a volunteer-driven non-profit organization and has become the largest community in the city printing industry. And it's open, and that's the more important to uh, everyone, to accepting all members of all backgrounds and identities, male and female. Starting around nearly years ago, as a blog, we are now a community of more than 30,000 men and women, 107 chapters worldwide, and we are present all over 38 countries across six continents. Myself, I have been involved within Women in 3D Printing for the last two and a half years, starting as a local ambassador in my adopted city of Dresden in Germany. I'm originally from Spain, and have taken over the regional direction Europe in the year 2022. There is further a lot of uh, things to celebrate as we continue to grow and you are invited also to enhance our community. Beyond the organizational milestones and partnerships, we celebrate the people that are with us. So, the DCT Women in 3D Printing and Innovation Award increases for us the representation of more industry leaders and more among these awards. So um, this year's five finalists, I truly believe, are remarkable uh, women who have impacted our industry to an incredible extent. And I wish we could award all five of them, all five of them, as each of them is excellent in their field and makes a difference every day. But uh, we cannot do so. And anyway, we congratulate all of them on their very well-deserved nominations. And with that said, I'm extremely pleased to announce that the winner of the TCT Women in 3D Printing Innovation Award for this year, for 2023, is Alba Gonzalez Alvarez. Congratulations. <laughs> Alba Gonzalez Alvarez is a doctor in biomedical engineering with nine years of industrial, academic and hospital experience. Alba has developed hundreds of implantable medical devices with the use of 3D printing technology and has also pioneered vertical surgical planning, additive manufacturing of different biomaterials and surgical navigation technologies in healthcare. Um, I'm 
deeply flattered for this award. Thank you very much to the TCT group and the Women in 3D Printing community. Thank you to the jury for believing um, that I deserve this. And thank you so much to everybody who voted for me. This is incredible. I would like to mention the other four finalists, Kate, Beth, Jessica, and Parastu, um, and acknowledge their inspiring work and careers. I admire them, and they deserve to be here. I feel very fortunate to be working on the development of patient-specific implants to reconstruct complex bone defects for patients with the use of additive manufacturing. This is a multidisciplinary work by nature, and I couldn't be here without the hard work of many stakeholders in the medical device world. Clinicians, engineers, industrial partners, researchers, thank you. I dedicate this award to, to you, uh, to my collaborators, collaborators and also to my competitors, because we are pushing the boundaries of technology and changing the paradigms of surgery to help patients live better, and I am very proud of that. When I look back on my career, there are a lot of names that I must mention. Julio Serrano, Carlos Javier Lardes, thank you for teaching me so much when I knew nothing about engineering. Thank you to Duncan Shepard and uh, Carl Dern for teaching me a strong foundation of biomechanics and medical device development with a scientific approach. Thank you to the Morriston Hospital, uh, NHS, um, especially to the MaxFAC department. Working there with you was an honor, and you are truly pioneers in the field. Thank you to the Stanmore Striker team for being the best, and thank you to the UC3M, um, Javier Lardes, Javier Pascal, for your guidance and support, and my colleagues from the IGT group. And finally, just to finish, thank you to my family and friends who mean the world to me, um, to my other half, Christine, who is here with me today. Thank you for being my rock. And thank you to all the additive manufacturing community. I celebrate you as well tonight, and let's have a great evening. Thank you.